page 161, number 11. Sketch a graph of the rational function. Check for intercepts, asymptotes, and holes. Okay, we're given a function c of x equals 5 plus 2x over 1 plus x. And we need to graph this. Well, let's do the other parts first. Check for intercepts, asymptotes, and holes. So we're going to look for actually five different things here. We're going to find if there's any x-intercepts. We're going to find if there's any y-intercepts. We're going to look for any vertical asymptotes and any horizontal asymptotes. And we're also going to see if there's any holes in this graph. Okay. So, to find x-intercepts, now an x-intercept means where the graph goes through the x-axis. Now think about all these points. These are points like 5, 0, negative 2, 0. It's always something common as 0. So, what they all have in common is that the y value is equal to 0. Well, on this function, for the y value to equal 0, that means over here, this must equal 0. Well, the only way to make this equal 0 is if the numerator is equal to 0. So, to find x-intercepts, we set the numerator equal to 0. So we say 5 plus 2x equals 0. And we solve that for x. Well, if we subtract 5, divide by 2, we get x equals, let's see here, subtract 5, divide by 2, we get x equals negative 5 over 2. Now, really what we have there is a point. The point we have is negative 5 halves comma 0. Meaning, if we plug negative 5 halves in place of x, we'll get 0 for an answer. Okay, so that's our x-intercept. y-intercepts. Now, to find y-intercepts, think about that. That's these points right here. All these points are like 0, comma, something. So, in this case, our x value is 0. So, to find your y-intercept, what we need to do is plug 0 in place of x. So, if I do that, plugging 0 in place of x, I get... 5 plus 2 times 0, so I get 5, over 1 plus 0, so I get 1. So if I plug 0 in place of x, again, this is a point. So plugging 0 in place of x, I get 0, comma, the value of y I get is 5 over 1, or 5. Okay, so we've got our x-intercept, our y-intercept. Let's move to our vertical asymptote. To find our vertical asymptote, um, these are values where our function cannot exist at all. So to find your vertical asymptote, what you do is you set your denominator equal to 0, and you solve for x. In this case, if we subtract 1 from both sides, we get x equals negative 1. Now, careful, your vertical asymptote is the equation of a line, in this case, a vertical line through the x-axis at negative 1. Next, our horizontal asymptote. To find your horizontal asymptote, this is where we use some rules. We look at the greatest power of x in our numerator and in our denominator. Now, the greatest power of x in our numerator is 1. Greatest power of x in our denominator is also 1. Since those powers are the same, our horizontal asymptote is going to be a horizontal line through the y-axis at, we look at the leading coefficients, so the numbers in front of, those greatest powers of x, 2 over 1. So y equals 2 over 1, or just y equals 2. Okay, last thing we look for, the holes in our graph. So holes in your graph are any place where if you simplify this function and cancel out some term on top and bottom, where that term was on bottom, that's a hole. Well, since nothing can be canceled out, there are no holes in the graph. So I'm just going to write none. Okay, so let's graph what we know. First of all, the x-intercept is at negative 5 halves, comma 0, which is a point right about here. The y-intercept is at 0, comma 5. That's a point right about here. The vertical asymptote is at x equals negative 1. So my vertical asymptote, not really part of my graph, but it tells me where the graph goes. It's a vertical line at x equals negative 1. Horizontal asymptote is a horizontal line at y equals 2. Now, these rational functions always have the same kind of shape, so I can see that my graph is probably going to go in here and up here. 
we can choose some X's, find some Y's to verify this. And I'm pretty confident my graph will look something like this. I am going to verify this in just a bit using our graph and calculator. So once I sketch this graph, let's pull our calculators out and let's just make sure this is the graph we get for this. So I'm going to press my Y equals key. To graph this, I'm going to put my numerator in parentheses. 5 plus 2X. And then we'll divide by our denominator in parentheses. If your graph ever doesn't work, make sure you have parentheses around your numerator and denominator. And let's take a look at the graph of this. Looks like what we sketched down, so that verifies that our answers are correct.